idea between the mastermind group was that I remember when I first started, wanted to be part of a mastermind group. Uh, and then uh, established my own, made some phone calls to, to Dan, and then from Dan to Barry and so on. And what we wanted to do was stretch really like-minded individuals who run great businesses in our, in, uh, in our industry. We have what, 13 members here, 14 members, all tops in their marketplace. And I think we already calculated we're 250 years of experience. <laughs> yep. um, I mean, wow. And oh, you look young then, for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're finding that people are coming to us and saying we want experience, we want the knowledge, we want the brand reputation. So we're getting those kinds of calls. So we feel a bigger sense of responsibility in that situation. Um, but I, th I think too, these mastermind groups and talking to people at this table, everyone has that brand and that experience. And, you can buy gimmicks and photos and stage, but you cannot put a price on the experience. This is the best market we've had in history, except for the first quarter of this year. Now, the first quarter of this year was a little bit crazy. It was just didn't make any sense. We, we were involved in a frenzy that was an aberration. So we are back to normal. There is nothing wrong here. This is actually a better market. Prices are up from last year. I think it's great for buyers and sellers, and I think it can make a great decision to make a move. The biggest challenge we're having right now with sellers are the ones who got caught in the shift, right? They're having trouble accepting the information that we're telling them and showing them. As much as you educate them, it's still, there's an emotional tie to that house. And when you're telling them that it's $50,000 less than it was a month ago, I mean, they're, they're stressed. It's about understanding how to view listings to bring the right listings to people and show them the opportunities because the right mind can discern great value from them. Yeah, that for sure. Where, where people will lose is by by acting on fear. So I, I guess our, our job at this point is to take take the fear out of our clients' minds and, and put the reality in there and put the, put the knowledge and the actual market information right. in there right. instead. As long as we look at the stats. Um, we're still up in Mississauga, uh, prices are up still 16% over last year, that was May. So that's way above average. Uh, our inventory is at 1 to 1.2 months of supply. That is still way below average for this time of year. Right, it's a great time right now. Prices are a little bit lower than they were from the, the hype. So an excellent time to get in before they start going back. Yeah, anytime there's a shift, there's an opportunity. And, and you might look at it and say, okay, my house is worth less. But if you're moving up, the gap actually gets smaller, right? So the, the other, the next home, the more expensive one is lost more. So for some people, a changing market can be the best thing that ever happens to them. So when your properties are perhaps sitting and you've got that older home perhaps that doesn't show the best but it's in the great location, how do you get more people there? Sure, it's internet, it's marketing, but then going back and making the phone calls to the agents you've worked with, the agents you know who are perhaps selling those properties and running around yeah. with those buyers. Yeah. I think for the season teams like at this table, it's going to be back to business, business as usual. I think now clients, uh, both buyers and sellers, are going to rely on us uh, a lot for our education pickets and, and our expertise because we're in the trenches. We see what's going on first. We're, we're dealing on the micro level. I mean, if there's going to be a blip one way or the other, we typically see it first. And so I think we really have to be on our A game.